What? We're back at the title screen. Don't worry, folks. We're here for the reason. There is method to my madness. Anyway, while we wait, I thought I would mention a few things. First of all, yes, I will be using save states, but only for the sake of making this whole process easier. I am recording this commentary live, and I can't do it all at once. So, uh, don't worry, I won't be save scumming or anything. I'm only saving between recordings, so I don't wear out my voice. So, up until recently, there weren't really any decent reviews of this game on YouTube. Lord Carnage of Classic Game Room did a pretty good one. Glad this game is getting some attention now. Strangely, two people, both named Mike, donated their copies of the game to Classic Game Room. Now I, another guy named Mike, am Let's Playing it. I guess this game is really popular with guys named Mike. I would also recommend the review by Mastercast TV. That was a pretty good one. You're welcome, Andrew. Ah, here we go. This is what I wanted to show off. This is the tutorial. A lot of enemies have a red core on top of them. The Stinger, the ship we'll be seeing in the next mission, has the unique ability to hack into these enemies, and it could even learn their weaponry. Pretty cool. So I'm going to load up the save state and start where we left off. Right at the beginning of stage two. The Stinger, which I didn't get to show off in the first mission because I stayed the pincer the whole time, is a fairly agile ship, but it has no armor to speak of. If I get hit by anything, I'm dead. It is armed with a rapid-fire light cannon, but it has no secondary weapons. It is, however, the only ship in the game that can jump. If I want a secondary weapon, I have to jump on top of an enemy and hump, er, I mean, hack into it. This guy here, he has dual light cannons, so I've essentially doubled my firepower. And he can fire the same weapon behind him as a secondary ability. Pretty cool. When you hack into an enemy, you can take control of them immediately. But if you wait long enough to hear a robotic voice say, Ready, then you could uh, actually use one of their weapons even after you abandon the ship. In this case, I actually keep the uh, dual light cannons. Sometimes you keep the primary weapon of the enemy, sometimes the secondary. It depends on the ship. Gotta watch out for obstacles. this guy. He has mostly broadside attacks. But I'm actually going to abandon him for a moment here, because I want this guy. Not for his weapon, but because he had a 1-up. Just like that, I have, I have five lives now. Yeah, I knocked that guy over. Oh, jeez, things are getting a little crowded here. Oh, look, a courier ship. Excellent. This is the Beetle. I get a chance to show off its weapons and control it myself. This guy has a heavy cannon, a single heavy cannon, and he has dual mine launchers. Pretty good for uh, taking care of obstacles like these, for instance. As awesome and offensive weapon as this ship is, I'm actually going to abandon it. I'm going to take the Mantis instead. We gotta get out of here. I need a ship that's more agile than the Beetle. There's nothing more we can do here. The Gingli have this base. We have to escape. Say what you will about these, about this game. Those transforming robots are awesome. Ah, you fell down. Mantis has pretty powerful weapons. Ah, oh, jeez, this guy's trying to capture me. Well, fine, I'll just capture you instead. This is a guy who was co ca constantly capturing the wasp in the first mission. Now I've hijacked the hijacker. Well, actually, I'd say it's more like hijacking a tow truck. See, well, this guy can grab our uh, ships. He can't exactly control them. Or steal their weapons or anything. I call them Capture Corvettes, because I'm a huge homeworld nerd. 
is a pretty good ship, though. It has this uh, cool energy ring launcher. And uh, as a secondary ability, it can launch a whole bunch of energy pulses behind it. Not bad for a capture Corvette. All these barriers. There's so many enemies around here. They really don't want me to escape. Robot! Ah, abandoned ship! The robots. Alright, we made it! We're out of here! Stage 2 clear. And this time we get uh, hacking and learning bonuses because we took enemy ships. Yay.